Hey everybody, welcome to the Blues Heart Biker channel. Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Star Biker channel. All right, if you're tuning in for the first time, I'm John, I'm the Blue Star Biker, and uh, I'm glad that you're here. And if you're a regular watcher, I'm glad you guys are here too. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back a little bit. Um, if you saw the last episode, I was in Long Beach at the SoCal motorcycle swap meet, okay? And uh, I ran into um, some friends of mine over there who have a YouTube channel um, actually they have a very very nice YouTube channel and uh, they have quite a few subscribers and it's a pretty pretty well established channel uh, the name of the channel is unaffiliated and when I was first starting to think about doing a YouTube channel of my own I got to watching a lot of things on on YouTube and I ran across these guys and they started their channel around the same time that I started mine when I first started watching their channel um, they were relatively new so uh, I watch it and, and I got to thinking you know that's a lot like the kind of stuff that I like you know they're 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 younger than I am of course you know they're a younger group group of, of guys and gals and uh, they uh, do chopper building and they ride bikes go they do kind of the same kind of stuff that I do but it's more about a group of friends and uh, it's more about the things they do and how they get along and they work on each other's bikes and you know there's no set agenda of the show it's kind of like you watch an episode and it's kind of like what they just happen to be doing um, the guy whose channel it is his name's Kelvin Kelvin rarely shows his face on the episodes and some people think it's because he doesn't want people to know who he is but that's not the case um, he had told me that he wants people to see what's going on in the videos as he's seeing it so you know showing himself on the camera you can't see what he's seeing right so anyhow uh, it's a great channel I got a chance to run into him interview him look at their bike he's got a couple of really cool sportster choppers uh, one of them he built and uh, then a few of his friends were there who are also regulars on his channel I'd like you guys to see it if you guys get a chance to check their channel out go ahead and do it there'll be a, a link in the description and I'll put a link here somewhere at some point in time on the video um, but anyways we're gonna go back a few days back to Long Beach and we are going to give everybody the lowdown on the channel called unaffiliated all right all right let's do it all right, we're here uh, with Kelvin over here from Unaffiliated, and uh, the whole group is here. Well, not the whole group, but there's, <laughs> there's three of them. There's three of them, and uh, uh, there's always a, a, a community of guys uh, and gals that hang out with you guys. And uh, uh, um, what you, you had a, an idea when you started your channel, so kind of what? Oh yeah, I mean, essentially the. It, it, to make a long story short, it just started off as me coming home with a story to my girlfriend. Yeah. And she was like, oh, it's one thing to hear about this. You should document it. Yeah. And I told her, this is just my life. And she said, yeah, but people might want to see it. So as now that I'm just pumping out whatever we do and putting it online, the way I see it now is that online, if you look up motorcycle stuff or choppers, yeah. all you see is the same thing. It's just, and I'm not going to go there, but you know, tattooed old school desert riding, like yeah. the, cool motors and like the scenery yeah and then where do people like me fit in yeah or my buddies and people like us who get motorcycles and feel like we're imposters in it right so I want to show if you have if you have a motorcycle and the will to get on it like you're the real deal yeah you know yeah. and I feel like a lot of people get imposter syndrome because you go on YouTube yeah. you want to get inspired you see some guy with a mean old garage and a $70,000 setup and a $40,000 motor yeah. saying oh, I'm working with what I got right and there's people like me my buddies and other people that watch this yeah. might be stuck in a driveway with like whatever they can do yeah. and I want to show we're proud of what little we have yeah. and I think everyone should yeah, so yeah. I, and, that, and that's where the name comes from now, now this sports are here this is this is, um, you bought this so your girlfriend didn't have to ride on a hardtail. Exactly, I yeah. bought this because I love my girlfriend. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, choppers are cool and everything, but. And what year is this? This is a 2003, it's an anniversary. Okay. There's a little anniversary oh, stamp yeah. right okay. there. Okay, okay. But, um, and uh, and you, you did an episode where you had an artist around here paint this, right? Yes, Christian from uh, Heart and Hustle Studios. Okay, yeah, yeah, man, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. 
fantastic. I've seen this bike online a lot. This is the first time I've ever seen it in person. Now you have a, a an iron head as well that you built. Yes, I did. That one is. That one was. I, I built it when I was single and learning how to do things and figuring it all out. And it wasn't executed perfectly, but it works and it taught me everything I know. I think uh, if there's any one thing I took away from building a chopper, yeah. it, it it taught me. It humbled me. Yeah. It taught me humility. It taught me. Virtues, actually, it's crazy, and uh, in that way, I, I I move a lot differently, and I understand the work that goes into these things. I don't I don't belittle anyone. If, if the most you know how to do is change a headlight, you should congratulate yourself because yeah. some people can't even do that. So. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So how long did it take you to build that? You know, I mean, you're still building it. I I acquired the frame and motor and like parts in October 27th of 2017. I started riding it. Uh, I think every day coming from like 2018 or 19 mm -hmm. and up so it took about a solid year to get the bolts together mm -hmm. but uh, now it's just it's a dream it really is a dream I can go like 90 miles an hour with a passenger wow. no worries wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, and uh, now was it all, was it all, had it been a bike before or was it just parts? No, so it was like kind of like a half put together roller. Okay. And uh, it was just a motor frame and I think like a front end, some wheels and odds and ends, but you couldn't just fire it up. It yeah. was just, I had it was to somebody else's scratch. project they started and you yeah, took it so, over and made your project out of it. Yeah, yeah so that, that bike taught me points, condenser, timing, uh, I did the transmission, that, all things that admittedly today, like, I probably wouldn't do if I started off with this. Right, right, but right. To be able to say I started with that and made this like a cakewalk. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it was. I just dove in head first. And I did regret it. I actually did regret it because yeah. I, I sold a running Honda Rebel uh -huh. for that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I want to be a cool chopper guy. But at the time, everything online is just what I was saying. Right. Right. Like, right. The, the, yeah. the same kind of cool guy thingies. They don't show you the problems that come into it. Right. So, right. So I was stuck in the dust. Thank God for friends and yeah. like forums. So. So. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing. You, 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 you know, you built that thing from from the bottom up, and it's special. You know, and I'll put a picture of it on here so people can see it. And uh, um, uh, you guys, you know, I, that's a thing I noticed about your your channel and your, your friends and everything. You guys have like a community, and uh, especially you know younger folks that are doing what you guys do with the bikes you guys are riding. You know. Um, it's pretty fantastic, and and uh, it, it uh, um, you know, do you, do you think that uh, um, maybe people can take something away from it? You know, with you know, yeah, from, from the community thing, you know, get together, everybody helping each other out. Yeah, I, I think the the best way to put it is that a lot of people do ask, like, oh, how do you have such a big friend group, and how are they so diehard? Well, the truth is, uh, a number of the people that you see on the channel. Some of them I've known from either five years old yeah. or some of them from when I was 15 years old. Yeah. But the latest I've known someone is in my 20s. But other than that, these were all friends before anything else. Yeah. And then after that, I've either bugged them to buy a bike until they finally get one. Yeah. But the bikes, are, the bikes are just an accessory. Yeah. The friendships are more important. Don't yeah. like a lot of people get focused on like, oh, who has this bike? Yeah. Who can I ride with? Put the bikes aside and right. like actually bond because any any amount of money, time, and you know skill can replicate a bike right. or a, or a build. Right. But you can't do that with friends, right. and right. I believe friends are more important. And I do so. notice that you guys, everybody's kind of got their own thing that they, they, they do too. You know, you got a few of you guys that build choppers, and a few of you guys that have newer bikes, and a few of you guys that you know they got different things. Some have Hondas, and some yeah. That's, that's pretty cool, man. You know that, it's, and that just shows that it's more about being friends and not just the bikes. You know, because exactly. a lot of times people get together and they all have baggers or they all have all like choppers know, only, choppers only, and they're you know you trailer know. trailer trailer queen choppers and stuff like that which is nothing wrong with none of that there, there's nothing wrong, wrong with it you know but I mean? you're right that's where the term unaffiliated comes from is that like you could be into anything we're, we're into we're into rock metal we're into music we're into parties we're into bikes but like we're not affiliated specifically with any one thing i'm not a biker guy right. i'm not a builder right. i'm not a this you know so but you built a bike and you ride and, exactly and, and everybody you know yeah but yeah. you're right man that the, the whole the whole thing where people like oh choppers only they try to stick with the same group that comes from that same thing that they teach you online when you yeah. look up photos or videos of like oh choppers it's all the guys on all the same bikes and like you want to be like them right but in reality only, only you can be you you right. can't there's no point trying to live someone else's life and that's what we're trying to display on the channel it's like dude I'm, I'm like five foot bro like i shouldn't be doing this but here i am with my friends and yeah 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 the commonality is just getting out there and i think if you let the bikes define you, then you're probably the problem. The biggest thing is, and the last thing I'll leave it with, is everyone's very concerned with choppers as a physical object. Yeah. But what I figured out as I hung out with my friends more and we like, started adventuring,
is that I believe uh, Chopper is a mentality or Chopper is a lifestyle and there's a lot of guys on Choppers that are lame. Yeah. I, I didn't, I'm not going to name yeah, anyone. No, I know. But there's a lot of guys know, that are Choppers. I run into guys that, you, you know, know they got these beautiful Choppers and you go over and start talking to them and they don't look you in the eye and yeah. they're not even there, you know? I can't even name, I'm not even going to name it, but like, and that's not even a shot to anyone because I don't yeah. even associate really. Right. But but on our end, what we want to show is that like I'm a I'm a complete nerd. I'm madly in love with my girlfriend, family first. My friends are everything. I love cartoons. I love all that stuff, comic books. But that doesn't take away from the life I live. Right. So I feel chopper, even if I'm on a swing arm bike. Yeah. But there are guys that think you got the physical of chopper. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you carry yourself or how you treat others. They just think they're already the real deal. But next thing you know. They're giving everyone the cold shoulder, giving right. a bad name. Right. And, and what what is the real deal? You know? Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly the problem. People are people are striving so far, but the grass is always greener on where you're at. Everyone just looks past their lawn. Right. Everybody looks past their lawn, man. And that's why, same with my city, bro. I always talk about Buena Park. I try yeah. to push Buena Park because well, I feel like a lot of people from small cities yeah. aim for the next city over and represent Long Beach or LA right. or just right. OC. But I believe wherever you're from, whatever you do, you have to own it. You yeah, that's how I am from Fresno, you know. There I'm from you go. Fresno, man, you know, and Fresno, everybody makes fun of it, you know. But, <laughs> you know, I can make fun of it, but nobody else can. I know? like that. Yeah. See, and that's and, how it should be, yeah. I believe. And, you know, I, I tell you that starting my channel, you're kind of influential to me because, you know, I, I told you my story. I, you know, I was sick and on the couch. My son gave me a GoPro. And anyway, um, you know, I saw your video. The first video I saw of you, you were waking your girlfriend up. She was pissed off at you. <laughs> She's and you actually guys, a morning were, person now. <laughs> right, yeah. You made her a morning person. That's her right over there. You guys probably, if you guys ever watch the channel, you'll see all these guys. But uh, so, you know, and I thought it was a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. And, and you know, I don't, I don't. I didn't really base my channel off of what you do, but I think the same way. My whole cha my channel is different than yours, but it's kind of the same because I I do things with my friends. I show my friends motorcycles off. I you know I go to places like this. I yes. you know I run into people and I you know I got groups of guys that I'm with all the time that are cool and interesting and yeah. you know and I showcase them on the channel. And, You're sharing your experience. And I'm sharing my experiences, you know. And uh, and if you guys um, get a chance to look up Kelvin and his his friends on unaffiliated on on on, uh, YouTube, on, yeah. Insta on YouTube and on Instagram too. I mean they got really nice bikes like here's oh, this is Kelvin's uh it's my daily driver his daily driver right <laughs> here man and this thing is fantastic. I've never seen I've seen this bike only on YouTube. I've never seen really? it in person. I saw the I saw the the, the iron head. Sometimes you'll just see the handlebars of this thing. Yeah yep. and this guy lane splits while he's holding the GoPro it's a death wish, but hey, you got the footage, right? <laughs> you, get the, you get great footage of you know, everybody riding, man. All my stuff's on, and there it is, right there. Way in the park, he's really yeah. in this city, like you said. You know? Yeah, this thing's nice, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. And it doesn't even look like I just put down a couple hundred miles yesterday. We were at a Paradise Road show. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, like, that's one thing about this, is I always tell people, like, uh, just because a bike is your pride and joy doesn't mean it has to be squeaky clean, right. which is referring to my iron head. Right. But then just because your bike is your daily doesn't mean it has to look like a POS. You know, that's why I wipe this thing down, but I ride it every day. Right, right, so, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic, man. I appreciate it. Thank I you. love the paint. The paint's just, you know, that guy did it. Guys guy did a great job. I was going for like a more of like a 80s bad boy thing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like something I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there you go. <laughs> guys on here that uh, I didn't remember Irvin's name before but I do now <laughs> hey, that guy's name's Jerry <laughs> I, uh, I've only seen him but I don't remember his name Frankie Frankie yeah and that's yeah. Jasmine yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and this is uh, this is Irvin's bike right here <laughs> I, I have a night train too, and I have a, a soft tail deluxe yeah. also. Uh, I got some, I three Harleys. No, no, no. But, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Get them yeah. around. Yeah. Rip around on them. You know? Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, all right, man. Well, this I've, I've seen this bike online a bunch of times. Yeah, just a few times. 
Yeah, yeah. The, um, I, 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 you, you get addicted after a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, you right. You do yeah. one thing and you do another. Yeah. But, um, but it helps that you have good friends around you that you know do the same. That's right. So, you know, you get inspired, like, oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. And they push you, you know, I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. And, and help, and help. You yeah. know, you need I, anything, I think what you know? people forget about the motorcycle community is, you know, it's a very supportive community where, you know, people yeah. are like, if I see somebody on the road, possibly broken down, you pull over, hey, man, you all right? Or, you know. And that's what I was telling else. Kelvin you know, it's about your guys' channel, you know, because the channel is what you guys do, it's real community, like your own community, you know, it's really, really cool, man. Yeah, I, I think the great part is, you know, people, you know, come and they, they do want to connect, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know, like I said, the Will Talk community, where, you know, after a while, everybody's, you know, everybody's together. You know yeah. I mean? It's not about, you know, who rides with who or who rides what, you know, everybody respects and loves and supports what everybody's doing anyway, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 Bigger things, man. Yeah. yeah. Better things. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, all right, man. Thanks a lot, brother. Nice to meet you. Oh, you know what? I'll give you one of these. We'll, we'll do one of those right there. Yeah. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah. 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 I'll see you around. I'm from Fresno, but I pop up down here once in a while. I go to shows and stuff. So. See you again, boy. You bet, man. You bet. Check out my channel too. Absolutely. Blue Heart Biker. You know. So, all right, you guys. All right, buddy. I'm gonna head out. Thanks a lot. You have the white one over there. Yeah. Yeah. And what? What you riding? You riding the blue one? All right, there you go. Painted it himself. You did? Yeah. Is that right, yeah? In the front yard, man. Is that right? Yeah. 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 That's awesome, man. Get down. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the unaffiliated way, right? Yeah, yeah. bro. Or yeah. Get it where you can. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, you guys have have a safe ride. I'm driving my car, so I, I'm... I'm I'm, You're uh, safer than all. I'm of us. safer than everybody. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I don't know. Hey, look out for us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I always say that on my channel at the end. I say, you know, if you're driving your car, man, watch out for motorcycles because it's pretty embarrassing if you're driving your car and you're a motorcycle rider and you run somebody over. Right. You know, oh, right? Yeah. I have one. I have one. I just wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, but anyways, yeah. All right. Well, cool, you guys. Like I said, ride safe and be cool and keep doing what you're doing. Of course, Unaffiliated. Man. Um, check them out if you guys will really enjoy the channel. So. So, all right, thank you, thank Party you, everybody. On, thank you, Take thank care. you. You bet. Yeah, all right, man. all right, you too. Hey, all right, man. All right, brother. See you later, brother.